So yeah, yeah, it's Super Bowl Sunday, Super Bowl 50, and I could care less. Yeah, none of my teams made it to the Super Bowl this year, so, like, I really didn't care. And, you know, I really don't like, you know, the Broncos or Peyton Manning or none of them. And, you know, the Panthers are just, meh, they're, like, not, you know, any team that I really have cared about. So, I didn't really care about Super Bowl this year. And then I remembered, oh, yeah, it's this thing. Yeah, they show, like, previews and shit during Super Bowl, and I should really talk about them. And I got a lot to talk about today, so, uh... Let's get started. So the first TV spot I wanted to talk about is the Captain America Civil War TV spot. It is so cool. This trailer just gets you going. It's like, it's not really that it gets you pumped. It just gets you like, man, this is going to be a, this is going to be intense is what you get this feeling of. And it starts out with like these people like saying like this chant like, United, we stand, divided, we fall and then you just see like destruction and shit and then you just you really get the feeling like this is gonna be good i mean this is gonna be really good i'm still a little bit worried about the movie like my problem going in so far is that this doesn't i still don't get the feeling this is going to capture the full scope of how big the civil war comic was i just really feel like it, it should have been bigger and this is one of marvel's like real disadvantages is that they don't have all their characters because like it's really distracting that the x-men and the fantastic four like aren't like involved in this i don't know if they were like had a big part in the comics i know wolverine did it really would be nice to see more of like these characters involved in this because it still feels like this is a little bit small but still though like i know that there's more characters that they haven't revealed yet um the big one that they haven't revealed yet is spider-man and everyone's complaining about that i don't know why i'm happy that they're not showing spider-man i don't want them to spoil the whole movie for me it does look like we're gonna get some intense fighting in this and i really like that this still looks like it's gonna tug you both ways like i can really see like oh man maybe captain america is right but maybe at the same time iron man's right oh my god what am i gonna do i'm really excited for that i really want that in this movie i'm gonna be on team captain america's side though i know that captain america is right. I love rooting for the underdog. He's going to be the one that's just representing everything that we love about America. Freedom! That's what he's representing. He is freedom. One thing that they didn't touch upon in all the Marvel movies, though, which I feel like is a missed opportunity, which was like the whole central point of the Civil War in the comics is that the whole concept of secret identity. And that's what the one in the comics was based off of. It's just like the super, they think they wanted the superheroes to give up their secret identity. And they're not really touching upon that in this movie because it hasn't been like a huge thing in the MCU. But they are making up for it by bringing in some of the concepts from the comic book, which was like the Superhero Registration Act. And I can see that like at this point, Tony Stark kind of views them as all just like, they're maniacs. He's like, we're no better than the bad guys, especially after the events of Age of Ultron, which is really interesting. And then you got good old Captain America there. He says like, no, oh, no, it's all right. It's our freedom that you're trying to take away from us. I don't know if he says that in the movie, the comic book, but that's just what I'm saying. So, yeah, I'm rooting for Captain America. I really thought the TV spot was cool. I'm still, like, I'm excited going into this movie. I think it's going to be great. I'm going to have some videos coming up before to, like, you know, like a prelude to Captain America Civil War. I think it's really cool that, you know, we're seeing this. This is a great story. And what did you guys think about it? Make sure you let me know in the comments below. So that's it for me. As always, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links are in the description below. And remember, I waste my money so you don't have to. Thanks for watching.